Hi friends, let's talk about feelings with Mrs. Clark. Um, today I have two picture cards to show you, okay? And this is from Second Step. Um, for families who want to find more information out, it's secondstep.com. And this is my friend Tina. Okay. Can you tell me how she's feeling? Suddenly. Tina hears a really loud noise. It is very loud and the noise keeps going and going. Tina doesn't know what it is and she doesn't like it. It hurts her ears. So have you ever heard a really loud noise that made you feel like this? Right? And it hurt your ears. Like, let's look at her face. Right? She's feeling afraid. Another word for afraid is scared. What parts of Tina's face show that she feels scared? Right? Her eyes are wide open. Let's see if I can find Max to help us point to Tina. Her eyes, right, are wide open. And her eyebrows are raised. Her mouth is open. And some teeth are showing. Right? Some teeth are showing there. Pretend that you are afraid and make a face that shows you're scared like this. Right? Keep your scared face on and turn to a friend or a family member and look at the clues that tell that your friend or your family is scared. Am I making a scared face? I hope so. Right? So what do you think was that noise? What do you think that noise was that made her feel like that? I know we have them in school. You probably don't have them at home, but you should really practice. It was a fire alarm. Okay, so when you're in school and the fire alarm goes off, it can hurt your ears. Right? It can make you scared. Okay? but it's not a real fire, right? We have to have fire drills just in case. So we practice it like it's real, but really it's pretend, right? But it scared her, right? Have you ever felt that way? Sometimes when I hear the train um, go by here in town, I jump like that when it starts to come closer because I can hear it. I can even feel it sometimes underneath my feet, right? But it startles me a little bit, right? I'm not maybe super scared, but it kind of makes me jump, right? All right, so I have another friend. More feelings, I know, this is exciting. This one is my friend Ethan, okay? He likes to read books, and Ethan's friend Danny brought a new book to school, and he said, would you like to read my book? Danny asked, and then Ethan opened up the book and looked at the pictures. He turned the next page, and wow, part of the picture popped right up from the book. It was a pop-up book, and he didn't even know it, so he was surprised, right? I'm going to show you maybe... Maybe this could have been the very same book he was looking at, but I'm going to surprise you. You watch, this is a pop-up book. It's called Big Frog Can't Fit In. Right? Did your face look like my friend Ethan? Let's try it again. You ready? Ooh, this is, let's see if this can get all in the camera. Right? This is called a pop-up book, and pop-up books are very exciting. But he wasn't expecting it, so he was surprised. Right? How does Ethan's face show that he's surprised, right? Ethan's mouth is open wide, and his eyebrows are up, and his eyes are open. Looking at someone's face is one way to tell how he feels, right? He 
eyes, the mouth, right? You gotta look at someone's face to really see how they're feeling, to really know. Those are your clues, right? Another way to tell how someone is feeling is to focus attention on what's happening, right? When you are surprised, you show that you did not know something was going to happen. Ethan didn't know that that part of the picture book would pop up in the book. So let's pretend that you are having a birthday party and you are so surprised because you didn't know that your family had planned it. Ready? All right, surprise. Let's see if I can find another different picture of this frog. That was so neat. Look at that. Right? Isn't that cool? Pop-up books are so exciting. You have to be very careful with pop-up books because they're very delicate. Right? You have to take very good care of them. Right? So let's look at Ethan again. Right? Did you pretend that you were surprised? Now you know two ways to tell other people how they feel. You can look at their faces for clues and you can focus attention on what's happening, right? And if you ever feel like Tina, another way to calm down, right? We know these strategies, so I'm gonna show you again, right? You can stop, smell the flower, <sighs> Blow out the candle and relax your body. And you can do that. You could do it once if it makes you feel better. You could do it five times. You could do it ten times. As long as you're going slow, right? You don't want to go too fast because then you're going <gasps> to look like that, right? But you can smell your flower. Blow out your candle, right? And in order to remember, um, you've got the picture, right? Smell the flower. Blow out the candle, right? Just keep remembering that, right? And you can, you always have your, your flower and your candle. You always have it with you at all times, right? So if you ever feel like my friend Tina, right? You know what to do. So we just went over two feelings, surprised and afraid. All right, see you later, alligators.